Stop, please. I'm beg- hey, I'm begging you. Please stop with the meetings. Okay, listen, listen. Worked a day job for a little bit now. I have meetings about meetings. It's frustrating when I have had to, in a business, explain to the contractors I work with, the people I work with, hey team, can you please do this thing? Now, the problem is I usually end up going on a call, maybe recording the call, sharing the call later. But when it comes to onboarding anybody about anything, I've noticed at work, day job, not day job, so many meetings could have been like an email or very quick tutorials on something. And guess what? There's a software that you can pay minimal amounts of money for. We're talking 1250 a month. And guess what? You can just send people short recordings of what to do. Wait, did you, did you know that? Do you know that Loom exists? It's one of the single greatest softwares out there. I, truthfully, I didn't pay for it for a while and it was dumb. Like for me, for, for my context, it was stupid that I didn't because I was doing so many different things to try to teach people how different processes I did worked. And I would like get on a Zoom call with them or a Google Meet, I'd forget to record and then I'd have to do it again if another person had to do the process. And while Notion is great for housing information, the very root source of the problem was video is kind of required to teach people a lot of the time. I was running a content services agency that was focused on video educational content and I didn't get Loom and it was one of the dumbest decisions I'd ever done, okay? I recently implemented this into my workflow and I, I'm this isn't sponsored at all. I'm just trying to point this out. I have cut down on meetings by 30%, okay? This is not a joke. I've cut down on meetings by 30 to 40% by sharing Looms with people instead of getting on a call and that's okay. It's okay to be antisocial in this context if I get on a Slack huddle with my video editor, guess what happens? We talk about it, there's no record of the information, and then if he has to teach someone else how to do it, he has to then teach someone else how to do it, or I have to teach someone else how to do it, or we can get on the huddle, I can record it as a loom, and then send it out. The process to do this in any other way with any other screen recording software that I've experienced is awful. It takes way too long, there's nothing like it for the price and for the workflow. It embeds into everything. It embeds into Notion, Google Docs, wh whatever you want, right? So I can quickly just open up Loom. You can use a Chrome extension or browser extension, or you can do it on desktop and be like, start recording. Hey, what is going on team? So just wanted to show you how the folder structure actually works inside of Loom right here. There is a very specific section I wanted to bring up. So in the video section, we have categories for content services, business as usual content, and we also have a section for Dimitri's decisions. This is a section where I'll be putting the logic behind all of my decisions so that we can try to get myself a little bit more out of the weeds of the business and delegate some basic client communication, ideation, that sort of thing. So oh, do I have to, do I try type it out? No, I just press this and guess what? I, it's done, I title it Dimitri's decisions section. I copy it, I put it somewhere in Notion, or I share it in Slack. Like, here is a new Loom for you to watch. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them it's for a video. But regardless, easy, look at that. They don't even need access to the workspace, they can just view it. They can open it full screen and be like, okay, cool. Thanks for the tutorial. High quality, quickly uploaded, got the audio, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. This is just finito, and if you don't wanna keep it, you can get rid of it. If you wanna move it to a specific section, you can move it to a specific section. You can make folders, separate it to just my library versus sharing it with your team. It's got it all. Based on Loom, in the last three months, apparently I've saved six hours, which is interesting considered for the most part, truthfully, I didn't start using this till about like three weeks ago. So in three weeks, I saved six hours. Do some math, it's pretty good. I don't wanna deal with this meeting stuff anymore and you shouldn't either. So seriously, if you haven't, you have a business where you delegate responsibilities, tasks, and you can explain it to them over a video call, get low, it's so good. And get videos like this one on how to improve your productivity even more.